before and after. How's it going? It's your boy ZH Comic Art. I'm with my best friend here. Introduce What's yourself. Up? I'm Steve. Today we're doing the pro versus noob drawing challenge where I'm gonna redraw his original character. He's gonna explain all the origins and stuff, and I'll just try to redraw it, make it look cool. It'll be great. I've got my sketchbook right here. He's gonna draw in it, and he's gonna be able to use my special pencil, a few Copic markers, and some pens. I need to brainstorm a bit though. Make sure you guys stay till the end so you guys can vote down below which one you think is cool. Mine, Steve's, or both of ours. Okay, so he's He's doing a quick brainstorm. How long have you been drawing? Like 18 years. Are you sure? I took art classes as a kid, so I'm practically an expert. Expert. <laughs> I can tell. Alright, anyways, this is Skunk Man. He's half human and half skunk, and his ability is to shoot toxic projectiles out of his <laughs> butt. Like an artillery type character. Fires it high in the air like a mor like a mortar. <laughs> <laughs> so here he is in his attack stance. So pretty much it just drops stink bombs. He was bitten by a radioactive skunk. That's literally <laughs> Spider-Man. That's like every superhero. I guess that's a flap to cover his behind. Like he doesn't need to use it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I thought he was using it right now though. It'll open up when he shoots it. He doesn't want to disturb the little kids who look up to him Who's as a role model. <laughs> I think you can go- yeah. <laughs> Dude, what the heck? <laughs> it looks scared. <laughs> well, you know, the skunks do attack when they're frightened, so... Wait, so skunk man can only attack the enemies when he's scared? <laughs> yeah. Alright, one day as a kid. As a kid, he was always small and scrawny and got bullied often. So one day, every day at school, he would get beat up mercilessly by, by bullies. And then one day, like Elephant Man? Yeah, one day he had some bad Mexican food. And when they attacked him, he had diarrhea and pooped all food. over his pants. <laughs> <laughs> and then the bullies all ran away. And once he got a taste of that power, he couldn't go back. And every day he'd... The power of diarrhea? <laughs> every day he'd... Does he train or something? <laughs> yeah. Every, he's been training for 15 years. <laughs> in controlling his bowel movement. <laughs> so now he just and squeezes capsules out of yeah, it? Now, yes. <laughs> and you can launch them with pinpoint yeah. accuracy. And to further get into the, to fall further into character, he got a skunk's tail. He got skunk implants all over his body. The <laughs> body. <laughs> <laughs> It mixes with his body gases to create a toxic stench. Those he are, he those does are... look high though. All right, I guess this isn't a gas mask anymore. We'll just make it extra big nostrils. <laughs> it looks like a pig, dude. Making him have an extra big nose to increase the amount he can snort out. <laughs> <laughs> so you snort a whole castle. Yeah. Dude, I don't think this is age appropriate. Hey, you should give him Yeezys. <laughs> Wait, actually, don't give him Yeezys. Hey, Adidas, if you're watching this, hook your boy up with some Yeezys. <laughs> Okie let's see how I'm gonna redraw Steve's original character. He called it Hype Skunk? Skunk Boy? Something like that? Yeah, so I kind of changed up the pose a little bit and my battery actually died in my camera so it skipped a little part. But I didn't go too detailed with the pencil drawing. I went straight in with inks. I decided to change his mask up a little bit. 
Uh, it was a little bit hard to write Supreme on there since it's such a small uh, mask. The barrels had Supreme on them, but I took that off. I added some more detail. And for his eyes, I didn't want to give him like those big googly human eyes. I'm pretty sure Steve would have wanted me to do that, but I decided to take it out, make it look a little bit cooler because uh, usually I don't draw those googly eyes. Stylistic preference, you know what I mean? And yeah, I want to give it a lot of contrast. Steve actually made it all black and white, which is really cool. And I decided to kind of go along with that. You're going to see that I leave some spaces open so it's more white and I will be using Copics. He actually didn't use the gray Copics. I think I actually gave it to him, but he decided not to use it for some reason. So I will be using it. I'm adding a lot of texture. I know at first he said he wanted those to just be like track pants and uh, what was it, a tank top? But I decided to make him all furry. The logo on his chest is gonna be furry. As you can see, it's like an Adidas original logo. <laughs> uh, Cause you know, the brand with these stripes is the best. And I'm kinda just gonna make all those furry, not really make it look like a solid print. But there we go with the textures. This was actually so interesting, like, you know, the first time I've drawn a superhero that's actually stylish and fashionable, because you know how usually superheroes, they have their own costumes, capes, the typical things, but modern day uh, people, you know, you need some clout in your closet, and Skunk Boy really knows where it's at. He's got those uh, Oreo Yeezys, he's got the Adidas original, uh, thing on his chest. He's got the Supreme gas mask. I think I'll actually add the Supreme logo onto his forehead. He's got the Yeezy tail. I, I guess Steve said those were implants, so those are Yeezy implants. He has, like, the track pan design for the Adidas. You know, the three stripes on his legs. Um, what else did he have? If you look closely, I'm gonna make the gloves like Adidas Y3 designer gloves. <laughs> uh, it, it's gonna be a little bit hard to see, but you'll see it. Oh, and I also gave him an off-white belt. You're gonna see me color that in yellow in just a little bit. Right now, I'm going in with the gray marker to touch up his fur. And there we go with the Supreme and the off-white belt. Damn. Th this guy really is a hype beast, hype skunk. Right, there go the Supreme, the Adidas. Damn, this guy's just rocking it out. And yeah, there's some rim light. And there's gonna be a lot of smoke around him, so that's gonna be pretty cool. It's gonna smell bad. <laughs> the off-white designs. Ooh, and get ready for some build-up and an epic montage. There ain't no stopping us Fly without boarding pass Couldn't catch me, I'll be moving fast Call me a shooting star Let them know who you are Flying up and above Wish on a star Time to show them who's in charge Call me a shooting star Thank you guys so much for watching. This video shout out goes to Art Funticular. If you want to win a shout out too, just join the notification squad. You guys know the drill. But yeah, let me know down in the comments who you think won. Did you like my redrawing better or did you like his initial design? Also, if you want me to redraw your art, make sure you send me an email to ZHC Review. There's a chance I might choose yours and redraw it. Your boy ZH Comic Art is signing off. Keep those pencils moving, you guys. Bye bye. Damn it, hold up right there. One thing I forgot to say, I did a lot more Pro vs. New videos, so I left them in the link down below. Make sure you guys go check that out. Stay on the daily grind. Bye-bye for real this time.